Namespaces are a fundamental concept in C Sharp that allows us to organize our code into logical groups. All C Sharp classes are in a namespace either explicitly or implicitly. If you don't explicitly say put this class in this namespace, it goes into the global namespace. What this does is allows us to uniquely identify a class by its namespace. If you've used Unity very long, you've probably run into the case where it tells you I can't figure out which random to use because at the top of your script, you have using system and using Unity engine. Both of those define a random class and the compiler is telling you, hey, you have two randoms, which one should I use? You have to fully qualify it with system.random or unityengine.random. Once you do that, the problem goes away. Hey, Chris here from Mom Academy, here to help you. Who, me? Yes, you. May your game dev dreams become reality by helping you organize your code. Generally speaking, it's considered a best practice to define a namespace for all of your code. You don't have to, there's not gonna be like the code police to come hunt you down because you didn't put that script in a namespace, but it really makes it a lot easier for you to organize your code and prevent those kinds of duplicate class name errors that we were just talking about. For really small projects, it's really not an issue. And you probably, if you haven't ever heard of a namespace, you're like, what the heck is this guy talking about? But if you start scaling up a project and become a larger one, start working with teams, maybe different people working on different sections, or you're making an asset store package, this becomes more important. Let's just take a simple example that I kind of recently ran into. If we have a player class that is a mono behavior and it does some stuff about gameplay for the player, and then later on I want to save some data about the player. I make a new player class that stores whatever information about the player, like their health, their name, their unique ID for their account, whatever. Suddenly I have player that is a data model, it's not a mono behavior, and I have player that is a mono behavior that controls some stuff about the player at runtime. Now I have a conflict between the two. The compiler won't know which player I'm talking about. That's where namespaces come in. I'll have some namespace, maybe LOM Academy by default, and I'd make one like player where I put the player, the player movement, player action, player health, whatever stuff is going on about the player. Then whenever I'm like, hey, we're gonna make a save system, and I wanna save some stuff about the player, I might make a LOM Academy player model namespace, where I'd put in stuff like the player class we just talked about that stores like their account ID and whatever else needs to be saved along with the player. This allows me to have two player classes that do totally different things that are different namespaces, but they both correctly identify themselves as I'm a player. One is just concerned with gameplay and one is concerned with being a data model. I kind of just introduced a new topic on you and that's a sub namespace, or I don't know what the official terminology is for it. That's where we have LOM Academy dot player referencing LOM Academy is a namespace, player is a namespace, but that player namespace belongs to LOM Academy. So we have LOM Academy dot player, and then I would add in like dot model for that data model piece. It's also important to say that there is no magic in creating a namespace. You just type namespace, space, and then basically whatever you want. You can use upper, lowercase, numbers, and underscores when defining your namespace. And that's it. There's no special anything else you have to do. So all this is doing is giving us a way to organize this code, keep it separate, and allows the compiler to understand that these are two different classes. You've seen the same concept of the sub namespace whenever you have to do something like scene management. That comes under the Unity engine dot scene management namespace. And at the top of your scripts, wherever you use like the scene manager, you'd see using unity engine dot scene management. So that's just telling it, hey, we're gonna use some classes from this scene management sub namespace of the unity engine namespace. The same concept goes with unity engine dot UI for the UI stuff, unity engine dot pool for the new object pool, et cetera, et cetera. There's a ton of sub namespaces for unity engine. You can think of that just as a concept of we're gonna group this piece of code together and it belongs underneath this larger umbrella. Namespaces are great fundamental tools in C Sharp that allows us to group sections of code together based on functionality or domain or whatever it is we wanna group them by. The next step of that is to split this up into different libraries using assembly definitions. I wanted to keep this one really focused on namespaces, just what are these things and why do I care about them? But to take this to the next level, you'll wanna check out assembly definitions, which I have a video link in the description card on the screen that goes into how can we split up our code into different DLLs and reference them across each other to speed up our compilation time. If you got value out of this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to help the channel grow, reach more people, and add value to more people. If you wanna show your support, you can click super thanks here on YouTube, become a YouTube member, or go to patreon.com slash academy 
get your name up here on the screen, get a shout out starting at the awesome tier and some other cool perks too. Speaking of those awesome supporters, there's Gerald Anderson, Autumn K, Matt Parkin, Ivan, Rulin, and Ify Obelis. And at the tremendous tier, there's Bruno Bozic. And at the phenomenal tier, there's Andrew Bowen. Thank you all for your support. I'm so incredibly grateful.